Hello and welcome to Baiju's IAS. Welcome to Daily Quiz. Last Friday in our explained segment, we explained Love Jihad laws. Coming Friday, which issue would you like us to explain? Let us know in the comment section. And we are coming up with lots and lots of initiatives for the civil services aspirants. So stay tuned. And if you're liking these initiatives, press the like button and let's look at question number one. Which of the following countries are not part of the G7 or Group of Seven? Is it Canada, South Korea, Australia, China? Canada is part of G7. South Korea, Australia and China, they are not. So C, 2, 3, 4 is the right answer. Which are these countries which make up G7? Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, United Kingdom and the United States. Let's look at the context. UK invites Prime Minister Modi to G7 summit in June. Australia, South Korea along with India, they are guest countries. Let's look at another question. It is an intergovernmental organization that was formed in 1975 by the top economies of the time as an informal forum to discuss pressing world issues. Correct? European Union began attending its meetings since 1977. That means another important detail so far as G7 is concerned. European Union representatives, they also attend the meetings of G7. And Russia, it was part of G7 because G7 was then known as G8. But in the year 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea, that is when Russia was suspended from this group. Russia was not originally part of this group. Russia became part of this group from 1997-98 till the year 2014 when Russia was suspended for annexing Crimea. Now let's look at question number three. Consider the following statements regarding the beginning of the Mughal rule in India. Babur defeated Sikandar Lodi in the first battle of Panipat in 1526. The Battle of Kanwa was fought between Babur and Rana Sangha in 1527. Third, Babur defeated Bahadur Shah of Gujarat in 1532. Babur, yes, he won the first Battle of Panipat in 1526, but he defeated Ibrahim Lodi, not Sikandar Lodi. So first statement is wrong. The Battle of Kanwa was fought between Babur and Rana Sangha in 1527. It's correct. But Babur did not defeat Bahadur Shah. It was Humayun who defeated Bahadur Shah of Gujarat in 1532. So this statement is also wrong. So which of the above statements is or are correct? C. Two only. What is the context? Professor Sunil Kumar, who is considered to be a giant in the field of medieval Indian history, is no more. This is today's Indian Express story. Let's look at previous year's question paper, Prelims 2019. The word Denisovan is sometimes mentioned in media in reference to pause the screen and let me know what is the correct answer. And the correct answer is an early human species. Denisovan, it's considered to be an extinct group and considered to be close relatives of Neanderthals. In a cave in Siberia, only few fragments of bones were found. And that is how researchers got to know that these Denisovans, they are the close relatives of Neanderthals. Now let's look at question number four, CSIR. The Council of Scientific and Industrial Research was established in 1942 for research and development in India. Correct. Prime Minister is the president of CSIR, correct? CSIR is a department under the Ministry of Science and Technology. No, although funding is received from the Ministry of Science and Technology, but CSIR is an autonomous body. So which of the above statements are correct? B, only one and two. What is the context? Today's the Hindu newspaper, 10% of CSIR staff exposed to virus, says a study. Now let's look at question number five. Dystrophin recently seen in the news is it is a protein and I will explain this by looking at the fact of the day. Duchenne muscular dystrophy. What is the context? The High Court in Delhi has ordered the health ministry that please explore crowdfunding. Why? Because you need to help two children 
who are suffering from this rare disease known as Duchenne muscular dystrophy. If you look at all movement, all our movement is controlled by contracting various muscles. If we zoom into a muscle, we see it is made up of many long tubular cells called myocytes. These myocytes, they contract and that is what causes flexing of the muscles. There is an important structural protein called dystrophin, which is located near the membrane of these myocytes. In Duchenne muscular dystrophy, what happens? This protein, dystrophin, is short and that is why in Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the average lifespan of an individual is less than 30 years. As children, they have difficulty walking. As teenagers, most require wheelchairs. And this Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetic disorder. That is it from our daily quiz. Thank you for being with us. Have a great day. See you tomorrow, 6 p.m. in the evening.